Welcome to Process News Now. I'm your host, Don Horn, and this is your Process Industry News. Our top story, Albertans look for a savior as they head to the polls April 16th. Next, cleaning fruits and vegetables without water. And finally, another big automaker is cutting back in Canada. With Albertans heading to the polls April 16th, that province's Liberal leader has pledged to allow municipalities a veto over any oil and gas drilling within their boundaries. David Kahn, the head of Alberta's Liberal Party, told reporters that his veto proposal would allow local governments to plan for safe and sustainable growth and development. Meanwhile, NDP leader and incumbent Premier Rachel Notley is facing an uphill battle against the United Conservative Party, which holds a commanding lead heading into the polls. A recent Angus Reid poll shows 56% of Albertans plan to vote for the UCP and its leader, Jason Kenney, with 31% ready to cast their ballots for Notley's ruling NDP. Southern Ontario's Cleanworks company has developed a new technology that cleans food without using water. According to Paul Moyer, co-owner of Cleanworks, the process gets rid of almost all contaminants, bacteria, and pathogens on food, while at the same time increasing shelf life. While the traditional method of using water alone is only 50% effective, the Cleanworks process is up to 99.9% .9 effective and has been validated by the Food Science Department at the University of Guelph, Canada's leading agri-food institution. Canada's auto sector took another body blow recently as Fiat Chrysler announced it is terminating its third shift at the Windsor, Ontario assembly plant, leaving approximately 1,500 workers looking for employment come September. The shift, which has been in place since 1993, will end on September 30th. Unifor Local 444 President David Cassidy expects the feeder plants that supply parts to the Windsor plant will feel a ripple effect from the closure. It is the second major announcement of cutbacks, following General Motors' announcement that it is closing the Oshawa assembly plant at the end of this year. This is Annex Business Media's Niche TV. I'm Don Horn. See you next time.